name is Edna Rukumayo. I work with a government uh, agency called the Uganda National Roads Authority. My office is quite stressful. I deal with a very, very challenging work environment. In early 2020, I took a medical exam. I, my whole body check and all my vitals. And I was, I was told my HbA1c was high, it was 10. The worst part was headache and blood vision, but also very thirsty at times and generally feeling unwell. It wasn't so pronounced and it's not what took me to the hospital. I was just doing a check. So I had the condition, but I didn't know that I did. So I went to my physician who put me on metformin and I'd been taking high blood pressure medication, amlodipine and losartan for a while. So I added metformin and I took that for three months. I went back to the doctor and I had not improved much. So the doctor uh, asked me to take a second tap, one in the morning, one in the afternoon in the evening. At that time, one of my family members introduced me to Timnath. I came over to Timnath and had a chat with Dr. Andrew and he introduced a diet I had not heard of. My family were very supportive because when I started this diet, they all came along with me. So everybody at the table had the same thing. So it encouraged me to continue and the benefits spilled over to all of them. Cut the long story short, about two months of that diet, I had basically cor corrected my HbA1c to 7. And I continued for a, a while longer and it was quite good at about 6.5. Along with the HbA1c improving, my blood pressure has also improved. I mean, a very good zone according to the doctors. But I also feel much stronger in my legs. I don't have uh, joint pains like I used to. Along the way, I have made a few mistakes. Uh, first of all, when uh, my blood sugar reduced, there are certain things that uh, I did that were not right. Uh, for instance, during the COVID period, there were a lot of uh, hype about taking fruits in order to protect yourself from the diseases and so on. I did introduce fruits in my diet, even moderately. But when I came back to check, first of all, my HbA1c had gone up despite the fact that I was eating very in a very disciplined way. I was not taking sugar, no honey, nothing that I thought could increase the sugar. But still, it went up. During the checkup, the chat with my doctor, he told me my visceral fat had increased despite the fact that I had lost weight generally. Working on your health is not a short time project. You have to go in for the long haul and make it a lifestyle. That's when it makes sense. You can't go on a diet for a short time and then go full blast on things that reverse it. So you have to be prepared and be disciplined to keep it up. One thing I would advise everybody to do is to check their health status regularly. At least once a year, go to your doctor, even if you're not feeling unwell, and just check your, your body, how it's working. The doctor will advise what kind of tests to take because there are certain things that by the time they manifest, they will have affected your body and the reversal might not be possible or might take a very long time.